Right, Toya District Attorney John Chisholm saying here today he was uh, deeply aware of the criticism about how long it was taking to make this decision, but in the end, he says he's confident that Christopher Manny did not break the law. The district attorney's report details statements from more than a dozen witnesses from that April day, and there were accounts of a violent encounter between Officer Christopher Manny and Dontre Hamilton. Multiple witnesses heard multiple verbal commands throughout the entire encounter. Um, so it was stop, it was stop, get down, um, just the variations of that. Consistent was that Manny took out his baton, that Hamilton was able to take it from him, and was beating the officer when the fatal shots were fired. We came to the conclusion. That based on all the facts, all the circumstances present to a reasonable officer and, and uh, Officer Manny's position at the time the circumstance occurred, uh, that his use of force uh, was privileged and was justified. Chisholm says a major point of concern was that Hamilton was shot 14 times. There is no standard that says that an officer is required to stop and reassess after firing X amount of rounds. Um, the national standard, the standard that all police officers are trained to, is that they fire to stop the threat. As long as the threat is still present, they are authorized to continue firing. And to demonstrate, Chisholm released a video showing an officer firing 14 rounds with the same kind of gun to show how quickly it happens. 14 rounds in less than three seconds. According to the citizen witnesses that saw the majority of the incident, uh, the officer stopped firing as soon as Mr. Hamilton went to the ground. Um, so with Mr. Hamilton on the ground, the firing stops. As long as Mr. Hamilton was standing and was armed with the officer's baton and had used that against the officer already, um, he would be justified to employ force. And we're having a live picture right now. We're outside the safety building where the sheriff's department is located, and about uh, two or three dozen uh, deputies just came out of the building, as you can see there right now in that live picture, uh, loading up a bus, uh, presumably uh, to uh, uh, take care of safety uh, throughout the county here tonight as they're uh, preparing, as we've been hearing all week, for any protests that will be coming this evening. But following up, we also learned today that Officer Manny's medical records showed that he did have some injuries, including treatment for head Head trauma, a rotator cuff injury, an injury to a bicep, and what was described as a bite to his hand. Now, Ch uh, ha uh, Chisholm rather did not review uh, whether Manny was justified in frisking Hamilton in the first place. Something Manny was already fired for. Uh, he though says that that would be something for this federal review now that we're hearing is coming from the Department of Justice. Reporting live here at the Safety Building, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News. Tony right. and Joyce. Thanks very much, Nick. Uh,